large library located in Stonebridge. And being in the meeting room in this library gives me a special opportunity to acknowledge that we're on Treaty 6 territory, but also acknowledge the namesake of this branch library. So Round Prairie was named after a Métis community. And on the signs in our meeting room, it says, located on the east bank of the South Saskatchewan River, 40 kilometers south of Saskatoon, the Round Prairie community started as a wintering site for Michif, Métis, buffalo hunters in the 1850s. And so this library is named Round Prairie after uh, the Métis Round Prairie community. Let's get started with today's program. We are having an adventurologist program today with a STEAM theme. And so I'm going to turn my camera around so that you can see what we're working on. or try to use in order to build our Rube Goldberg machine. All right, I'm alone in this room here, so I have my mask off. Rube Goldberg was actually a person, short for Reuben, and Rube was born in 1883 and died in 1970, but our library has books about Rube Goldberg and Rube Goldberg inventions. He started out as a young child loving to draw, went to school uh, to become a mining engineer, and eventually got back into drawing and was a cartoonist for a newspaper and came up with all of these uh, crazy inventions. We call them Rube Goldberg machines, and he would make comic strips. And so, there are several examples of those comic strips that show up in these books. And this is um, not Rube Goldberg's art, but uh, an interpretation using the ideas of Rube Goldberg to make a machine that is not efficient, to make a machine that takes a whole bunch of steps to do something that would be simple. And so that's what we're going to try to do. The first thing I need to think about when I'm building our Rube Goldberg machine is what is the end task? What is the final thing that the machine is going to do? And in let's do it in, in many complicated steps. So I think that I want to try to close this cupboard door. And so I have to think about what I might do in my very last step to get the cupboard door to close. And that's where I'm starting my thinking process. So I was wondering if maybe I might use some of these books that I stacked up and use that to close the cupboard door. I'm thinking because it's a heavy, heavy door that maybe I need to choose some bigger books. All right, so what I'm going to do is try to stack some books so that when they fall, they fall against the cupboard door and close it. So I'm gonna get these books to line up like dominoes. Okay, so I want I want to try to have the books all fall and make the cupboard door close. And they did. So that's great. So I'm going to line these books up again. Get them ready. This one's skinny, so it's hard to get it to stand. Alright. So I have my books lined up. And I wonder if I might line them up so that something falls from the table and knocks into my books. So I'm going to continue to line up books until I get close to the table. Maybe something will fall from the table and I had already built some sort of like weighted system. I just tied an elastic around an elastic around and tied a string so that I could make this and put some Legos in because maybe one can act as a weight and pull the other one down. So I'm thinking that maybe something can fall off the table into this container 
and then this container as it goes down will knock into the books. So I'm gonna build my book dominoes a little bit closer so that they can get knocked over. Maybe something taller, maybe this one. So that it gets knocked by this one. All right, maybe one more. All right, now I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that part. So I thought I might start at a beginning spot. I have this small area that I want to try to build my machine out of. I think what I'm gonna start with is to stack up some boxes upside down so they can act as a ramp. So I'm gonna stack this box and this box. Now how do I get one? I want one to be a bit taller than the other. What if I put my Lego container under like this? But it still doesn't have much of a ramp. Let me try to roll the ball down and see what happens. Doesn't really want to roll without effort. What if I put a few books underneath to prop it up higher? Let's try this. That works pretty good. I want it to kind of roll this way. So maybe I'll put another book underneath this side. So it kind of angles towards me. Let's try. I wonder if it'll roll the same place every time. It does seem to, to go off of that same corner every time. So if I know it's gonna go off of this corner, then maybe I could get it to hit some books and get those to act as dominoes. Actually, what if I make some domino stairs with books? So if I put these containers upside down, then I could maybe have this fall, where does it fall? Let go and right here. I want it to fall a little bit more to the right. I'm just gonna move this book so it angles more. Let's see. Oh. Oh, and it fell. Let's try again. Okay, so it falls off right here. So I'm going to see if it'll maybe knock a book down. So I'm going to try that. No, it misses it. Let's try it a little bit further over. still. Okay, so it's not giving enough of a push on the book. So I'm wondering what I might do to make the ball roll faster. What if I put another book under this so that it's more steep, so there's a higher angle, and then maybe my ball will roll that little bit faster. Let me try this book instead, or in addition and see if I can get it to roll a little bit faster and knock this book down. Oops, except for I must have nudged it. Try again. Still not gonna knock it. I'm gonna try one more stack and see. See if it'll knock it down. I would think that if it, this gets steeper, that the ball will roll faster and it will knock harder into that book. So I just feel like this is gonna work. Certainly was rolling faster that time. Let's try this. Yes! Okay, so we've got it at a high enough angle so the ball's really fast enough so it hits that book, which is exactly what I wanted. So now that I know that that steep angle will hit the book, and knock it over, then I can continue making my book dominoes from this point.
All right, now, when I get to this N1, I was thinking that I might put some object to set another object in motion. So I have a couple of these balls, sort of the size of a ping pong ball. And I'm thinking that I will be able to get it to hit, a ping, uh, hit one of these balls and get it to roll. So hopefully, I'm just gonna put a shorter book so that it can hit the ball and make it roll down. I'm gonna make a little wrap here. In a sciencey term, we might call that an inclined plane, but I'm gonna call it a wrap. I'm gonna make a little wrap and I want this to hit the ball in such a way as to make it roll down this ramp. Oops, so I'm just gonna move this around so you can see. All right, so here we are at the end of the ramp. What I want to happen is the books to knock that ball so the ball falls. And I want to be able to move something on top of the table again. And so um, I saw somebody do this interesting thing once where they had some sort of object to, to prevent a ball from rolling, so they had it in front. And so when the string gets pulled, then the ball can roll through. So I was thinking that this, I might need to prop it up a bit. Let's try on a book. This ball, I want to roll down this tube, but I only want it to roll when, I, when I'm ready for it to roll. So if I could have something in the way So that when I pull that thing out of the way, when I pull this string out of the way, the ball rolls. Now I don't know if I'm going to get this to work, but we're going to give it a try. Now how am I going to get the string? Because we, in a Rube Goldberg machine, you get it started and then, and then you let all of the contraptions do their work. So I want to pull, I want to pull this string. Now I've got the ball rolling down the ramp. What if that ball knocks into a book which knocks into something attached to the string? Let's see if that would work. So I got my ball rolling down the ramp. And what if it hits this, hits this over? That would pull that string tight. So I wonder if I even have to tie it. Let's try just putting that string, tucking that string inside of a book. Oh, see, I even pulled it off just then. Okay. I want this pull tight, get hit by the ball, pull tight, knock it over. But I still need that ball to be able to knock down. See, when I move this right now, the ball's not going anywhere. So I have to have it, I have to have it propped in such a way, oh, there it goes. It propped in such a way that that fork as soon as that fork moves, the ball rolls. What about this? Oh, it does kind of, but it needs to be a little bit higher. I wonder if we put another book. Okay, let's try. If I move this, oh, it almost needs to be a little bit higher because the ball does move when I move the fork, but it moves the wrong way. So let's try one more book. Maybe it just needs to be really high. Let's try that. Still not. What if we angle it a little bit? What if I put something underneath there? Let me try to put something underneath this one maybe. Ah, maybe this will work because the fork is blocking it. Now it has nowhere to go. Yes, that worked. Okay, so I made, a, I made it so that it has to roll down and the fork is blocking it, but when the fork gets pulled, then, oopsies, and there goes my wrap. 
when the fork gets pulled, when the book gets moved, the fork gets pulled, and then hopefully that'll make my ball on the table roll. All right, so this is what I'm hoping will happen. I wanna drop this ball on this spot here. I'm hoping that it will fall down, fall down, knock these books over, going up the stairs, knock the books, knock the books. I'm hoping that that last book there knocks into this ball that falls down the ramp. I'm hoping that that then will knock these books over, which will knock this DVD case that's attached to the green string. The green string then that's attached to the fork will pull and I'm hoping that will force this ball to go down that tube and hit the sour cream container. And then I'm hoping the sour cream container will fall and knock these books, ultimately closing the cupboard door. So let's give it a try, cross your fingers. Here we go. All right, here we go. So close this time. This one just needs to knock. 